Hello and welcome back to another Lemmy Lemon video. In today's video, I am going to hop onto my third favorite game in Roblox, Cruise Ship Tycoon, where you can build the boat of your dreams and sail the seven seas. I'm going to purchase the largest and most expensive boat in the game, and then transform it into a holiday haven. Some of you watching this may have never played this, but if you do, watch closely on how I assemble this boat. Now I already got two other large boats like the one I'm building today, but those were built around 11 months ago, so I think it's time for a change. Plus, as a cruise ship fan myself, who has ironically never been on one, I enjoyed making this video. So if you enjoy it, make sure to like the video and hit subscribe if you enjoy this content since my videos take a lot of time and effort to create. But without further ado, let's get building. This boat has about 9 levels to fill, and no matter if it is your first or your 100th albatross purchase, it will always feel like there's an unlimited space on board. You can practically fit anything in this boat. My two other albatrosses give in about 400 grand each day in the game. We can go nuts on spending in this video, but if you're on a tight budget, I would recommend sticking to it as fuel and supplies can cost a lot. Since the boat will take a long time to furnish, for this video I'm going to be doing a floor by floor time lapse, and I'll slow down when I explain something for you. So yeah, enjoy the first part and I'll check on you in about 22 seconds. Now we are going to be installing our crew cabins and utilities. You are going to want to put in your crew cabins towards the front of the boat and squeeze it in where the hole meets the bow. It's also handy to cram in some housekeeping closets by the side, and if the doors don't fit then you can make it fit. And make sure to put in about 3 minimum for a boat this size. If you are building a smaller boat, I would recommend at least 2, and for a really small boat you maybe only need 1 and a bit. Um, yeah, it's a good amount. And when that's complete, I'm going to be explaining to you about furnishings. So I'll see you then. Look, I know the time lapse is still going, but I want to start talking to you about furnishings. Furnishings can be anything from tables to pot plants, couches, benches, sunbeds, parasol tables, you name it. Now, they should be evenly spread around the ship so that all passengers are satisfied with your cruise line. The more furnishings you have, the more satisfied your customers will be and the more revenue you'll collect. So a good tip is to first put in the rooms wherever you can fit them and make sure to put in a bit of a gap so that passengers can reach the room and walk around the ship and so it's not too cramped and also put in a few pot plants, life rafts and couches where you can. It's also good to decorate the ship. If you're having a hard time trying to make your ship look different or unique, then this is a very good tip for you. It's not about the selection or choice of rooms you put in the ship, it's about how you arrange them. So even though this boat can fit the largest room in the game, I've chosen to put a twin two bedroom on each side and one single room with an ensuite in the middle to create a middle room section in the middle of the first floor. This allows passengers to access all parts of the ship and also have a uniqueness. You can also experiment with all the rooms, I would highly recommend, and it's honestly, it's the best part of this game, putting in and arranging the rooms.